Hello friends, today I am going to talk about how to get a Tesseract, more precisely a soap Tesseract. It is a coup with him, a coup. It can be obtained mathematically, but I prefer to get it through a physical experiment because I like to experiment. So let's get started. We will need a soap solution. I used dishwashing, uh, detergent, glycerin and some sugar. I guess you can change this concentration of the solution yourself. Experiment maybe you can do even better. So I have a soap solution. I have it too. You will need to make the forms. You can make them yourself from wire like here or you can buy it in our store like I did. I will use these forms. So what needs to be done? The first thing you need is to prepare the solution and wait 15-20 minutes for the foam to disappear. We don't need foam. Let the solution settle down. The second thing we need is to lower the mold into the solution for a few seconds and select it back. You will get something like this. Generally, if you have not received such a form that you see now, then you did something wrong and try to repeat it again. Look at the shape you get. The art of physics and mathematics. Minimum energy. Physics tends to get a state which a minimum of energy and it looks like this. I think it's uh, beautiful. I love art. In general, if you have received what you are currently seeing in this video, then we are moving on to the next stage. We lower the resulting product into the solution, but not completely, but only which one phase take it out and get a tesseract. I will do this a few more times. Look at this. I can do this many times and you, as you can see, I can do it. I hope that you can do it too. You can also demonstrate not only the surface station but also the interference of light. Look at the multicolored stripes, the light partly reflecting from the upper and lower edge of a thin soap film creates coherent light circuit that in our eye create an even or odd number of half wavelengths in the stroke difference as a result of which we see such multicolored stripes. In general, I went into optics. No, I am going back and I am going to try to do the sum which the tetrahedron. Let's see what happens. I do not know what to call it correctly, but it turns out that this is what you are seeing now. What would you call this form? Write your answer in the comments. I will also do this several times and observe the interference of light. And with that I say goodbye to you. Bye bye everyone. Until new projects, that's all for now. Yuri Kovalyonov was with you.